Aerie bought money bag a car. So, you bitches, it's time for us to fuck with rich girls. It's what it ain't. It's your girl Ombre Alert, and I am back with another video. Okay. Hmm. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a post that is going around on social media. No, I am not talking about the post that's um, where men are asking women to buy them the PS5, but I am talking about things that niggas is saying that's really getting on my nerves, okay? And to be exact, we are going to be talking about the post. If you look at the title, then you already know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to say it anyway. We are talking about the post where it's saying Airy bought money bag a Maybach, I believe, and bitches ain't said I ain't seen a bitch say goals yet. I think that's what the post says. So I'm just gonna be talking a little bit uh, about how I feel about this post because, quite frankly, it's getting on my nerves. All right, so we're gonna get into it. If you're ready to get into it, we're going to start very very soon. Before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know. I mean, I'm sure if you're subscribed to this channel, then you already know that I have my own business. Come on now, come on now. So, if you are subscribed to this channel, then you already know I have a business. And if you aren't subscribed, you might want to subscribe now because it's getting on fire. In my last video I did, I talked about um, the behind the scenes of my black-owned business. So, I will be doing those videos more often. But until then, we will be on our regular programming, regular schedule. Um... In case you haven't noticed, I am going back and forth between doing the uh, biopic series. I will be doing that in and out of the fall winter time. So just make sure that you stay tuned to this channel because you never know when I'm dropping a new video like that. Okay. But just so you guys know, in the last video, I talked about my crystals being um, restocking my crystals. So I did that yesterday. So there are eight new crystal necklaces on the website. So if you haven't checked it out, you might want to go check it out before they are all gone. I just recently sold out of majority of them. I think there were only two left when I did the last video. Now it's all fully stocked. So why don't you go grab a snack and go check out what I got on my website after you finish looking at this video okay and of course my hair care is popping okay get your wash day bundles with me I do have a new bundle it is called pretty and pink and it is the pink cleansing pre-poo along with the pink salt scalp scrub boom you can get both of those it's in a bundle right now on my website i'll leave the link in the description box for everything below so make sure you check out my business support my business if you like what i'm doing over here okay so we're gonna dive deeper into this post because it's bothering me y'all i'm like sick of it okay and i'm i know i'm not the only woman especially a black woman that's just sick of men asking for stuff well, who raised you like seriously who raised you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have those type of daddy issues, all right? So I'm not going to let no nigga swindle me into buying them a Maybach, whether I have the money or not, okay? Okay, so let, let me break this down about how I feel about it. You know, Ari and Moneybag, they can do whatever they want. This video ain't really about them. I'm talking about all the niggas that have something to say towards women about this. Because for one thing, this is their relationship. If they want to buy each other cars, then they can do that. What does that have to do with another person's relationship? I'm not buying no nigga, no car. Period. That's just not what women sh are supposed to do or should do, in my opinion. Because I know it's going to be people in the comments like, eh. I'm shutting it down right now. This is my opinion, okay? In my strong opinion, I don't think that a woman should buy a man a car. That is just not okay at all. Um, at the end of the day, of course, you can do whatever you want to do. But um, I just strongly, strongly disadvise that. And especially if we're diving deeper into Moneybag and Aries' relationship. Aries is not 
famous for a specific thing you know what i'm saying she's on instagram doing what she does on instagram and that's how she gets the money she does club appearances and she's like one of those you know instagram girls i'm not doing that to acquire no damn money for no damn maybach and now i'm just gonna give it to a dude nah hell nah i don't care if i've been with him for five years and you're not getting a car for 10 years you're not getting a car you feel me? No. 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 I am not doing that. To buy a man a car says a lot about you as a female, okay? Um, we don't know if your relationship is even going to last that long. You know what I'm saying? So I just wouldn't advise doing that, buying a man a car period that's just how i feel about that if we're talking about the nigga and all of that first of all the dudes that are reposting this post and i'll put it up here so y'all can see the dudes that are saying this they ain't shit you feel me like whether they have a money bag yo status um of cash or they don't they just ain't shit you know whether they have money or not they ain't shit and it's like, you don't even deserve a car, let alone your bitch to buy you one. You feel me? So why are you even saying anything? For the niggas, for the niggas that don't have any status at all to say this, shame on you. You can tell that you didn't have no dad in your life that was, or a man figure in your life that was, you know, um, as we would call it, like a modern day OG. You can tell that you just didn't have any guidance because if I went to my dad and told my dad that, he would laugh. He'd be like, are you fucking kidding me? He would call me stupid if I actually bought a man a car. Like, it's it's different if we pay on it together and we're both sharing it. I still don't think that's a good idea either. But I'd rather do that than actually buy a man a car that I don't even know we're going to be together. Like, seriously? Oh, my God. Listen to, me, listen to me, listen to me. God will bless you, okay, with with things. And it's your choice to share those things or not. You can do as you please. But I just don't like that because people are watching celebrity couples. They just expect people that live regular lives to do the same thing. Listen to me. I'm not an Instagram hoe. I'm not going to just bounce from nigga to nigga and buy niggas cars and do things like that. Like, don't address me as an Instagram hoe. You know what I'm saying, girls? Comment below if y'all feeling me. Because, no, stop treating us like the shit that y'all see on the internet and the shit that y'all see in the tabloids, okay? I'm not famous. I need to be treated with some respect. You know what I'm saying? Some regular old, old-fashioned respect. You know what I'm saying? Don't hit me with the gender roles and shit and make me feel like I'm supposed to just be in the kitchen and, and cooking and cleaning and shit like that. But don't expect me to do some millennial ass buying you a fucking car or buying you the PS5. You know how much that shit costs? The only, the only dudes I know that really spend on their females, honestly, is celebrity men. And it's probably, honestly, to keep the women quiet because they cheating, for real. Celebrity men and, um, I had another one that was real good. Niggas in jail. Those are the only dudes that really spend bricks on women. That's what I know. Is dudes that's, that got a woman in jail. You feel me? And then dudes that are cheating on their female period y'all feeling what i'm saying please please don't hesitate to comment below let's talk about this because i'm sick of dudes like putting um materialistic standards on women like we're supposed to do this and we're supposed to do that like airy bought money bag a car so you bitches it's time for us to fuck with rich girls you can do what you need to do but i'm just saying that if you want, if you want our regular women, regular popping women, pockets to expand enough to buy a car that costs that damn much, or any car, you know what I'm saying? It's things that you're going to have to deal with. 
you know? It's women on the internet. They got their whole ass open. Like, bald eagle, you can see the, the, the you know, the coochie and everything, you know? Do you want me to do that? Because <laughs> I'll be able to get the May back, but I have to do that. There's... There's things that you have to gamble with when when that type of money is flowing around. You're going to have to sell some kind of sex, okay? And as insecure as you niggas are, I wouldn't advise y'all to put those type of materialistic standards on women, okay? I'm just saying that it's a lot of women out here paying their bills because they get naked on Instagram and paying for the cars because of that too, okay? And y'all always want to talk about how women are supposed to be like this and supposed to be like that. But hey, you want the Maybach, so I got to spread my booty cheeks for it. You want me You want me to spread my booty cheeks? Really? Shame on you. Shame on you. Okay. So I'm going to get out of here. Make sure y'all like this video. Make sure you leave a comment down below and let's talk about this. All right. I'll see y'all in the next video. It's Ombre Alert. Peace out.